Hello, today I am going to discuss about Farmer's Theorem and I am going to do the proof of the Farmer's Theorem using Euler's Theorem which I have discussed in my previous lecture. If you don't know about the Euler's Theorem, I would suggest to see you my previous lecture. So let's begin. So let's start with the statement. What is the statement of Farmer's Theorem? It says that if P is a prime number and A is a integer number, then A to the power P is congruent to A mod p what do i mean with this statement means that with the help of example i am showing since 4 is an integer number and 5 is a prime number so this is nothing but a and this is p so the statement says 4 to the power 5 is congruent to 4 mod 5. So if you also don't know about the modulo operator, I would suggest to see my previous lectures. I have discussed over there. So you can check it manually also. So 4 to the power 5 is 1024. If you divide with 5, it gives us 10, 24, 0, 4, that is 20, the remainder is 4. So this is what I have been told. So this is the statement of the Farmer's theorem. So the proof of the Farmer's theorem. As far as the proof goes, first we are holding that if P is divisible by uh, A is divisible by P, then we can directly say a to the power p is congruent to a mod p. I don't think this statement has any problem of understanding. If you have, please ask in the comment button. Now, if p is not divisible by a, then GCD of a comma p is equal to 1. And we know that by Euler's theorem that phi of p, that is Euler number of a prime number is nothing but p minus 1. Now, with the help of this Farmer's theorem, we can write a to the power or Euler, sorry. With the help of Euler's theorem, we can write a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. Which is nothing but if we multiply a in both sides, we get a to the power p is congruent to a mod p. So, this is how we prove it using Euler's theorem. Now, let's check an application. Say, for example, question has been asked. What is the remainder when 6 to the power 5 is divided by 5? So, the remainder have been asked. So, you can directly say that it will be 5 with the help of this farmer's theorem because 6 to the power 5 sorry the answer is 6 so 6 to the power 5 is congruent to 6 mod 5 you can say it using Euler's theorem now since the remainder is greater than this one 5 so we 
write it. 6 to the power 5. We again divide 6 with 5 and find the remainder, which will be nothing but 1 mod 5. So the answer is 1. By Farmer's theorem, you can say it's 6, but as 6 is greater than 5, so we again have to divide it, and the actual remainder, when we divide it with 5, then we will get. So this is 1. So this is the application of Farmer's theorem. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.